welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and in this video we're going to continue on our Sysadmin 101 series teaching basic skills to IT professionals. So as an IT professional you're expected to keep your computer in tip-top shape. You're supposed to have everything organized. It's not supposed to have spyware. It's not supposed to have viruses. And really when you think about it, if you can't keep your computer up and running, if you don't know how to use your computer, then why would any company out there trust you to manage their network or manage their group of systems? So here we're looking at a particular product called Stardock, Stardock Fences. And what Stardock Fences is, is it helps you organize the desktop icons on your computer. So the way to get it is you go to stardock.com, go into products, and then go into fences. And you can see here we've got two versions. We've got the regular one, which is free, and you could just download it and install it. Or for 10 bucks more, you get the pro version. Really, you don't need the pro version, just get the free version. After you've installed it, your desktop will probably look like this, minus the, the little wallpaper that I have in the middle there. This is from GoDaddy. Uh, it's very good. You should download this and, and look at it too. But your icons, which used to be strewn everywhere, are now organized into little windows called fences. They are translucent, and as I drag them around, you could put your cursor in the title bar of each one, and you could drag it around, you could see it's translucent. They also lock into place, which is pretty nice. They can be resized, so if I go into the corner or the edges, you can see the cursor change and I could resize them and then I can move them around you know something like that you know pretty much it makes things a heck of a lot more organized it also gives you a couple features so let's say I put my cursor in any part of the screen that's empty if I double left click my screen clears away which is pretty nice it's called quick hide and let's uncheck that don't so show that message again so now my desktop is clean. I just double click again and my fences come back. That's pretty nice, that's awesome. Uh, the icons in our fences, we can move them around if I wanted to. So I've just dropped that PDF there. I've just dropped it down there or back into the usual place. So that's good. If you want to make a fence, it's pretty easy. What you do is, let's say I've got this icon right here. If I hold down the right mouse button, I can draw a window and then as soon as I let go I'm given an option to create a new fence from these icons. I click on that I can give it the name of the fence we call it test and then I have a window just for that and I could move it around I could drag other icons in there drag them out. So depending on what field you're in or what you're working on sometimes what you what some people like to do is they'll make a fence just for recent items or temporary items, stuff they're working on throughout the day. And as they finish them, they will drag those icons out and it gives you sort of a sense of accomplishment. Okay, so that's one way of doing things. Let me just drag out my customized fences out of there. And to delete a fence, all you have to do is go into the empty text portion of the fence, you right click, and then you could do remove fence and that will nuke it. You could also rename the fence, which is another thing. You could also configure fences. Let me just remove this fence first. Let's customize our fences. Let's see what we could do. So we go into configure fences and we could do some stuff. So right now I'm running a customized layout, which is pretty nice. I could move things around. I could have fences figure out stuff for me. That's something you may or may not want to do. You might want to try it just to see how it looks and then go into the customized layout. Chances are you're going to do customized layout. Let's click on appearance. Show labels, never on mouse over always. I have mine set to always. If we do never, the labels on top disappear. Mouse over, they come back when you mouse over, which is pretty nice. I just have it on always. Transparency shows changes how transparent the fences are. You can make them opaque. It's kind of dumb. Or you can make them very light. I like something sort of in between, somewhere around there. Color intensity, tint, I don't really mess with those too much. Change the label color, I don't mess with that. Outline the fence areas so it gives it a more defined edge to the fences. That's sort of up to you. Fade out scroll bars when inactive. 
So what we could do here is let's say I do something like that. As soon as I move my cursor away, you can see the scroll bar is still there. If I click on fade out scroll bars, that disappears. So it only appears when I cur move my cursor over there. So that's pretty nice. But usually I don't have my fences scrunched down all the way to need scroll bars. If I go up to tools, let's see what we have here. This is where our quick hide is, which is pretty nice. And then you could snapshot where your fences are just in case you uh, mess up. So you want to, you, you spent 30 minutes doing your fences and organize everything. You might want to uh, snapshot it just in case you uh, screw it up later. Here's a pretty interesting one. Store fence sizes on a per screen resolution basis. So for those of you who like running multiple monitors or you change resolutions a lot, uh, this is something you may want to do because th these fences work for a certain resolution and they might not work if you run at a higher resolution or a lower resolution. Sort of depends on, on what you're doing. Auto layout, uh, you, you don't want to do this. This is going to be kind of painful. And what this does is it's going to figure out what fences to use and it's going to just blast your icons into what it thinks are useful. Uh, don't do that. It's, uh, you'll run it a couple times and just don't do it. And then if you just want to turn the fences on or off, you can click that button and that will turn fences on or off, which is pretty nice. So it's a pretty simple utility, but really, now that everything's organized, you could actually find stuff and get work done. And as I said, what you could do, my tip is you could do something like this, work. So this is your work stuff. When you start the day, you throw all your files that you're working on into there. And as you get done with them, you trash them or you throw them in, into a finished pile and uh, deal with it later. Uh, really, this work pile, as long as it's kept empty, you'll feel great. Your quick links, I make a quick links column, and these are the stuff that I almost always click on, which is pretty nice. And you can see other folders can go in there, that's not a problem. Virtual machines, I've got these running my VMware stuff, and then I have miscellaneous folders out here. So it's just you may want to organize it something differently. It's all up to you. So this was a quick and easy video on the Fences utility. It's free from Stardock. Install it, unclutter your desktop, make your life a lot more easier and a lot more productive. Thanks for watching.